eat this cookie dough, you die. It's the cookie dough of death. Oh my god! You got in the fing mitt. Mm. Let's just wing it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right, we're back again. Another baking episode. This time, we've got a special guest. Hi. We've got my housemate Lee today. Also a fellow YouTuber. <laughs> so we're gonna have a lot of fun today on the show. A former baker, right? Sure, maybe like from half a decade ago. So I have this cookbook from like when I was in elementary school. Take a look, Cerritos Cooks. Cerritos being you and me. So, we're gonna cook a gingerbread recipe out of this and also make some creme brulee. I've never made creme brulee before, but you've made creme brulee. Sure. Did you like successfully make it or? I ate it. Was it good? Was it creme brulee-y? I'd say so, yeah. Whether or not it fails or it goes amazingly, we're here to showcase it to the audience anyway, right? Sure. First off, we're gonna start with the creme brulee because apparently there's a chill time. That's right. And then we'll move right over to the gingerbread cookies, as is the season, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Pumpkin spice! <laughs> All right. So, Allegedly, our creme brulee recipe, very simple. Two cups of heavy or light cream, or half and half, one teaspoon vanilla extract, an eighth teaspoon of salt, five egg yolks, and half a cup of sugar, slash more for topping. So the sugar on the top that we're gonna melt is regular white sugar. Pretty much. Hmm. I hope we have enough. Whatever's left in here. What the f is this? <laughs> what? I, I expected like a bag of sugar. No. Like a little, that's like a good cup or something. No, we're good. We only need half a cup. Okay. We have enough sugar. I've got one cup of heavy cream and we've got half and half. But this isn't our half and half. I'm gonna call who owns it. Your call has been- Damn it. Well, I guess I'll text him. Cameron said, yeah, go for it. Our salt, eggs, Vanilla. Is this extra? It's vanilla flavoring. Apples and oranges, huh? It is apples and oranges. Right. We've got our five ingredients to cook our crumb brulee. Thick gums. A teaspoon of the vanilla. Works. Shot glass, baby. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Eighth of a teaspoon. Bam. Five egg yolks. How do you do that? <laughs> I've never done that. That should be five. Half a cup of sugar. Three hundred twenty-five. Okay. So in a saucepan, combine cream, vanilla bean, salt. Cook over low heat until hot. The thick ones and salt. Chef cooking with the pot boy. So we're gonna beat the yolks and the sugar together until light. Then pour about a quarter of the cream into the mixture. So then we're gonna pour this sugar egg mixture into the cream. Boil some water. Am I talking from experience? I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't even know. Are you talking out of your ass, Lee? Maybe. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 barely, sir. Oh, no. I think it's gonna end badly. Safety! There's only one way this is gonna end, and I'm not liking the outcome. <laughs> You got this, sir. Oh, no. Boiling water. Oh, no. Oh, boiling water. Oh, you're pouring it out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. First try. <sighs> so our creme brulee has been for about 40 minutes and it looks about set. Careful, SpongeBob. You're doing great. 
that up. Perfect. I'm just gonna let that cool down. So now, these are room temperature. We're gonna be leaving it in the fridge overnight. Now we're gonna do our gingerbread cookie dough and we're gonna cut it into some fun shapes. So our five piece cookie cutter set, snowman, Christmas tree, candy cane, star. And of course, this is what we're here for, our gingerbread man. Last week when I was pumpkin spicing all the things and they didn't have ground cloves at the store so I had to buy whole cloves and we used a coffee grinder and that was horrible. This week Target came through with the bougie looking mortar and pestle. So now we're gonna unbox this. This is now an unboxing YouTube account. Where in tarnation do we open this thing? There's like a hundred slots that let me... Alright, alright, alright. This is my first time with molasses. This is strong. Let's take a sip. <laughs> what does it smell like? Oh, you know what it is? There's a Filipino, and it's like sticky rice. It has like this dipping sauce that smells exactly like this. And tastes exactly like this, probably. Maybe it's just straight up molasses that we dip it into. And you just eat it straight up. Bro. Might be. Wow. How did you get that open? At the bottom. Bro, you just broke the brand new pestle. How the f does this work? Obviously you smash things with it, but like you wash it and you just... Where's the instruction book? There's no instructions! At least like a, a best practices guy, you know, like it doesn't have to be like an instruction book that's like here, put object in here, crush. It could be like, well, here's like the best methods of crushing. Here's like what you should do with your wrist and like what you should do with the object. Ah! Rolling pin so I can live out my rat tattoo dream. Now I'm a true baker. Oh my God. You think I can still return this? <laughs> ah! And my pain. Now it doesn't want to break. I hate it here. So we're gonna add a half cup of shortening to our mixing bowl. I don't think this was a good idea. This is exactly. We need one and a quarter. Yeah. Our next step is literally everything else. Literally everything else. So half a cup of sugar, our one egg. Oh! Nice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's just as I planned. A tablespoon of vinegar. Here's our tablespoon. Here's our cleaning solution. Oh yeah, that's vinegar, all right. Luckily, I don't put anything else in there except vinegar, so. One teaspoon baking powder. How much is that? I'm tired, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a cup of molasses. Oh, that's thick gums. You would. Let's try the molasses. You don't want to, you don't want to eat this. That's strong. It's a little, it's a, it's almost exactly like the dipping sauce. Okay, I think I. I think you powderized that poor clove into dust. No. <laughs> Boy, I told you it's not enough. No, it looks like enough if I just. It looks like enough, he says. Pour it all in. Pour it all in. All right, fine. Hopefully it doesn't overpower everything else. I hope it does, because then I can blame you. Now it's time to beat this. Sh it's like flour, it's like molasses. And then we're gonna add the second half of the flour, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Put in that elbow grease. You know you need a thousand subscribers to become part of the program? Well then get to it then. What do you think we're doing right now? What do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> get to work, VTuber. You want your thousand subscribers? You gotta earn it. Okay, I think we can add in the second half. 
And then what's interesting is after they tell you to chill it, there's no more directions in the in your book. Oh yeah, that's right. So then I just it's like fucking elementary kids school and cookbook. What do you expect? You're not gonna. Do they just want you to fucking eat the raw dough or what? I guess so. That's bad for the kids. What if they get salmonella? Social Darwinism. So you're saying that elementary school kids should just eat raw cookie dough and die? I say if they don't know common sense, then that's life. All right, you heard it here first. That's life. Controversial statement. Eat this cookie dough, you die. It's the cookie dough of death. That's what we're preparing. That's gonna be the title of the video. You still need to add another quarter cup, huh? Yeah. Another f***ing mature response from Bender Cooks. <laughs> okay, well I guess that's good enough. We'll have to chill it. Daddy chill. Here we are on the first two day episode of Vander Cooks, right? Because we had to chill the creme brulee and the dough overnight. We're going to roll out the rest of our cookie dough, cut out shapes, bake them, decorate them, and then we're gonna flambe, flambo. We're gonna caramelize the sugar on top of our creme brulee. So let's get right to it then. I'm wide awake. Here is our ball of ginger dough and our rolling pin. the shape of fires. All right, my favorite is the gingerbread man. The snowmen are always big boys, mm -hmm. big chunky boys. So we're gonna roll it out again. All right, our cookies ready to go in the oven. Where do we put this? Should I just eat this? It's one egg. Was it one egg? I could have sworn it was five. No, it was five for the creme brulee. That's what it was. All right, here we go. We made this. And salmonella. You gotta finish that now. There we go. We got our freaking cookies ready. They're gonna go in the oven now. Cookie dough is delicious. Oh yeah. These creme brulee look ready to go. Now we're just gonna pour the sugar. We've got our outdoor torch utility. Outdoor utility torch kit. Propane and propane accessories. Let's do this. That's sick, dude. That is a torch. Of course, we're always about safety on this show, right? So, we got our eye protection. You have eye protection. I have the will of God on my side. Let us activate the torch of God. Whoa! <laughs> I've done some crazy in this show now. If I lower the gas release. Flambe, baby. Woo! It's angry at us. I think you put the gas too high. Yes, it's perfect. Caramelize it. I mean, that's how it should look. Yeah. Here's our final collection of burnt sugar. This one's my favorite. All right, we just did our creme brulee and we're gonna let the sugar reform. But in the meanwhile, gingerbread cookies are done and we've got our ready to use cookie icing. We're gonna decorate. Yay. Yay. Go ahead and break it over. Nice. Here's our cookies that we're gonna wonderfully decorate. Oops. Why is it so hard? Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that tastes exactly like a gingerbread cookie with icing. Mm. This is well done, dude. Mm. 
This is on the mic. Not bad, I don't like gingerbread, but I think these came out perfectly. I said they're pretty good. Not bad for our kindergarten recipe. I'm gonna bring out that creme brulee. Oh, yeah. We don't have the ramekins, so. Oh yeah, that has a nice crack to it. You can see the cracked hits. Brilliant. Really well done. It's very creamy, very eggy. Wow. I love creme brulee so much. It's like my favorite dessert. I like it. You like it? Yeah. This is so good. That's so worth it. It wasn't that hard to make. It was not. And it was like really basic ingredients too. Mm. I'm gonna keep eating this because it's actually pretty tasty. Gingerbread and creme brulee. What a perfect mixture. These are actually pretty good. We These did a good job. Good. You're donating? I'm gonna have one more. Yeah, one more cookie. This has been an episode of Vander Cooks, and we'll see you. Yeah.